Hello and welcome to my second video. In my first video I showed you how you can push one app to Cloud Foundry. Now in this video I'm going to show you how you can connect GitHub and Cloud Foundry via Jenkins. In my third video I'm going to um, show you how you can get notified from GitHub and Jenkins um, through Slack if you use Slack as a communication tool. Um, if you want to use Jenkins, um, there are again three easy steps. You need um, a Jenkins uh, instance somewhere. I suggest uh, just go to bitnami.com, have a look for Jenkins and host it somewhere in a public cloud, for example, on Google Cloud Engine or AWS. Once uh, Jenkins in, is installed, uh, you need to install three plugins. Uh, the first one is the Cloud Foundry plugin um, to be able to push code to Cloud Foundry. Second one is the GitHub uh, plugin and also the Slack notification plugin for our third video uh, where you can get notified from Jenkins uh, towards Slack. Well, how to connect GitHub and Cloud Foundry via Jenkins. So once uh, Jenkins is up and running, let's create a new job. We will use Freestyle Project and I will give a name, which is Agency Demo. Then we will skip the Slack notifications, uh, these will be part of, a, of video number three. Um, in the section code management, we will choose Git. Um, we have to provide the um, repository URL, which is Cloud Foundry Demo. Um, then provide credentials. I already saved these credentials. Um, then we have to tell build when a new change is pushed to GitHub. You can also choose build periodically or you can um, tell Jenkins to um, poll um, GitHub um, on a regular basis. However, I think the best uh, choice is to trigger a new build uh, when changes are pushed to GitHub. Then as a post build action, um, we will choose push to Cloud Foundry. Um, as target, we have to provide the uh, endpoint, which is um, the api.run.pivotal.io. Um, save our credentials, I already provided mine which is Cloud Foundry. Um, the organization is EVP and the space is EMC. Um, yes, we don't have to change anything there. We can test the connection. Test connection is successful and save it. Go back to the main dashboard and now we have to configure github so there we have to go to settings webhooks and services browse the directory oh, no go back add service and have a look for jenkins and we will choose jenkins github plugin um, and here we type in the um, target uh, of the Jenkins installation, which is here. I'll have a look. I'll just copy the IP address, uh, insert, and at the end, and that's important to add git hub minus web web. 
uh, make sure it's activated and add service. And then if we open this one again, we can also test this service. And now if we go back, um, this should be triggered in a moment and we enable auto refresh. And indeed you see that it's currently triggered for the first time. Um, now let's uh, perform some changes. So you see uh, actually a dummy build is performed. Um, let's go back to the source, source code and perform some changes. Uh, let's use my helper script again. And we are going to uh, commit these changes. And we can check for the status. Um, yeah, we are ahead and we are going to push these changes to GitHub. I have to provide the username. And the changes have been added to GitHub. And let's go back to Jenkins. And there we see that a build is triggered. Um, and um, at risk, it's just building up. Um, we can see the last success, the last duration. And um, I will also show you how to see the history and also. Um, the console output. I'll just wait um, until the build is finished. Almost done. So now it's, um, it's done, let's go to build history and we should see the two recent builds and we can all, we see that these were stable and we can see the output here uh, and indeed it, you see that the um, API is called and the code is pushed to Cloud Foundry and it's finished with success. So let's have a look here and see if we see any changes. Indeed, we see the map and also some pictures have been added, uh, which are um, imported from, from Twitter. Uh, these are pictures with, um, which use the Cloud Foundry hashtag. So that's how you connect Cloud Foundry and GitHub via Jenkins. To summarize, in this video I showed you how to connect GitHub to Cloud Foundry via Jenkins. In my third video I'm going to show you how to get notified um, on a successful build um, by Jenkins through Slack.